Hey guys, how are you? Grant right here. I'm back here today for a brand new video, so get ready. Now, tonight I wanted to do something really, really special, and I um, was actually looking on through my comments on, I think it was Instagram, um, and I got a really, really special request actually um, from uh, somebody uh, that is very, very uh, supportive of you know my channel and everything. Um, and this really, really, really inspired me to actually uh, feature this tonight. Um, this artist in which was requested is uh, none other than the legendary Dolly Parton, who I am a humongous fan of. For those of you who don't know, I love all kinds of music. As you guys know, I'm biracial, so I grew up around many different types of music. Um, you guys know I love my soul and my R&B, but I also love, love, love country, rock, all of that stuff as well. And Dolly Parton was a big, big, big uh, favorite of my mother's, actually. She used to always, uh, my mother used to actually model some of her style after Dolly Parton. Um, I'll insert a little picture of my mother in here later, just so you guys can see. Uh, my mother loved the long fingernails and the, you know, the hair. She did her hair like Dolly Parton. My mother had you know, long blonde hair. She did her makeup. She always had that, you know, very, uh, I guess you'd say over the top appearance um, when I was a kid and some people made fun of it. I always loved it though and I just, Dolly Parton is such a force in the business. She's just one of the best of the best. Such a, an amazing songwriter, vocalist, gorgeous person. Um, I just, I, when I got this request, it just knocked my socks off and I was like, we are bringing her to the channel. Um, this, what we're going to be looking at today is one of my favorite performances of her. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Dolly Parton's duet with Vince Gill, another amazing vocalist on the classic I Will Always Love You. A lot of you know it uh, from Whitney. This is Dolly's song, though. Whitney did an amazing job at covering it, but Dolly Parton, this, you know, this is her song. She wrote it. She's the original artist who recorded it. She did an amazing, amazing job. Um, and I am so excited to look at this with you guys tonight. Got me a Coke Zero on ice here. I'm actually going to be hitting the gym after I do this video. Uh, so I thought, let me, you know, just, uh, so I was like, let me get myself energized with a little bit of a, you know, soda over here while we uh, watch this video. So get you guys something to drink, get something to eat, dress up, dress down, whatever you need to make you feel good because we're going to have a good time. You already know. Without further ado, let's get into it. Before I begin today's video, as always, if you are new here, and I know there's some new people, thank you so much for joining me on this channel. If you would please be so kind, hit that subscribe button, no smash that subscribe button. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. Give this video a big thumbs up, and don't you forget to leave a comment down below. Let's get into it. Should stay. I would only be in your way, so I'll go. But I know I'll think of you each step of the way, and I. Treat you kind. Treat you real kind. 
And I hope you have all you dream of I wish you joy Wish you joy And happiness And happiness But above all this I wish you love Man, oh man. All right, you guys. Let's get them hands together. Give a humongous round of applause for the legendary one and only Dolly Parton and Vince Gill. I will always love you. Knocked my socks off. I know I say that a lot, but you know. When it knocks your socks off, it knocks your socks off. Little sip of Coke Zero. I'm gonna talk a lot about this. Um, I want to start off by saying um, Dolly Parton has got to be one of the most preserved voices in music history, in my opinion. She has preserved her instrument to this day so well. She still sings magnificently. She still, um, her voice is just, um, it's amazing after all this time. But, um, thing about um, it is, I've said this in other videos, the condition of the human voice over time is not directly connected, but it has a very, very, very big um, deal to do with how well somebody is taking care of themselves throughout their life. Um, everything from what you eat to what you drink um, to, you know, smoking, doing drugs, all that stuff, to how just everything involved, you know, in um, your daily habits really, really does affect the voice through time. And so many um, artists in history, not going to name the names, you guys know, they just, they started out magnificent singing capabilities, but due to, you know, all that stuff that I mentioned, you know, just poor habits, the, it just, you know, took a toll on their instrument, their time, and their abilities, you know, just wandered away. Um, but Dolly Parton, she still, to this day, she sings, you know, wonderfully, and it's uh, so inspiring for me to, to see that, because, I, like I said, I do hope to do the same myself. She always had such a naturally wonderful voice, such a naturally beautiful, um, clean singing voice, um, and she, you know, the thing, the beauty of country Country music, in my opinion, is it's based on emotion, it's based on storytelling, it's based on authenticity, um, not based on, you know, going the extra mile to impress people, um, you know, with, uh, you know, histronics and, and vocal acrobatics, you know, sort of in place of the actual message of a song. I cannot stress this enough. You guys are probably sick of hearing me say this, but the of a, a, a singer's uh, technical ability does not um, compensate for the lack of an emotional uh, commitment to a song. No matter how good you are, you know, technically, with you know your high notes and your low notes and your runs and this and that and da da da, it does not take the place of the emotional impact that you know, an artist is supposed to have delivering a song. And the thing with country music, like I, I, I said before, 
that is the base of it. The base of it is how you make people feel, is the story that you tell. And that's the beauty of it, because that's how, in my opinion, I've said this a million times, that's how all music should be. But these days, like I said, if you go on any social media platform, you're, you're, you're quick to see, has nothing to do with that anymore. People just, ha and it's part, part of the reason for that is because social media only gives you a couple seconds to sort of leave an impression on someone. People have very short attention spans these days, so you got a couple seconds to get their attention. And you cannot tell a proper story in a couple seconds, so the only way to do so is to do a zillion high notes or, a, you know, a bunch of riffs that, you know, really don't really matter, but they're, uh, you know, sonically pleasing to the ear and they're sonically impressive, even though it doesn't mean crap, you know, in reality, it's enough to grab the attention of somebody. So that's what we see today in place of, you know, actual, you know, storytelling over the pace of a few minutes. You know what I mean? Um, and it's just so wonderful for me to get back to this kind of performance that really actually, you know, tells a proper story and delivers that emotional, you know, impact the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? Um, as I said before, I love what Whitney did with the song. Whitney is, you know, the vocalist of vocalists. She's, you know, one of my favorites of all time. But I feel a lot of people fail to realize, like I said, uh, Doll this is Dolly's song. Um, and she, uh, you know, she... She and Whitney each had their own take on it, um, and I don't feel either of them is, you know, more or less impressive. They're just, it's a different um, delivery. And I, if you're a music person, you get this. A lot of people don't. They're tr constantly trying to pit the two against each other, and I can't stand that. Um, there is room for everyone in the in, in you know the music business, and I feel a lot of people they're constantly trying, like I said, to pit different artists against one another. Oh, well, this isn't good because this person did this and they didn't and they did this and they didn't. There is beauty in each type of delivery of a song and I feel people need to take a step back and sort of really listen with an open mind so they can sort of understand that and um, not immediately jump to conclusions of who did better and who did this and who did that and you know so forth so forth i absolutely love what both of them did and her and vince gill together just magnificent absolutely magnificent he has an amazing amazing voice as well and both of these singers just such naturally pleasing tones to the voice i cannot stress that enough you guys know me if you know me if you don't know me I am very 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 big on vocal tone um, I feel a lot of times and I've said this in a lot of other videos a lot of time um, ability and um, ability to sort of impress take uh, precedence over the actual voice and the actual vocal tone of a lot of singers especially now and a lot of people go to you know conclusions and make assumptions that someone is great just because they can do certain things and they can move their voice a certain way when in reality that's true but the actual voice is nothing special you know what I mean it's nothing that I or anybody would probably want to listen to for, for more than you know maybe a minute um, and I just think that is something that uh, didn't happen a long time ago. I feel a long time ago, you either had a good voice or you didn't. You know what I mean? There, I can't stress this enough. And I, I, I'm continuing every day I go on TikTok and I see people talking about this just to sell. You cannot teach someone how to have a great voice. You can teach someone how to do impressive things and move their voice. You can teach someone agility and all that stuff, but that does not equate to a great voice. You are born with a great voice voice or not. You're not born a great singer. You're born with a great voice. You do have to train to become a great singer, but you are not born with a great voice. And people just mix the two up so often and it drives me nuts because you get people's hopes up who think just because you know I'm I'm going to this vocal coach they're going to make they're going to give me a great voice it's going to happen magically it's not you may be able to learn how to do certain things with the voice you have but it's not going to give you a you know a great voice 
This is an example of two people who just naturally were born with great voices. End of story, you know what I mean? Um, just had to give that little tidbit because a lot of people, they you continue to get that wrong and it drives me nuts. Um, as I said before, Dolly Parton, the thing, one of the many things I loved about her is she always had her own style. You guys know if you're a Dolly fan, um, she was criticized from the start for the over-the-top everything involved with her and she did not give a shit. She did things her way, and, and a lot of the beauty of what she did, especially with her style, is it threw people off to the point where they thought she was a dumb blonde. And she really always had a you know very sharp mind. Obviously, she became the you know the you know the businesswoman that she and she you know she built her life up you know from the bottom because of her mind. Um, but a lot of people early on and to this day they still you know make certain stereotypes about her. And she has never been one to lash out because of that. She just always you know did mention you know a lot of people you know think I'm a dumb blonde, but you know she I. Remember I remember one time, well, a couple times she said, I'm not even blonde. I'm not dumb and I'm not blonde. You know, just to sort of throw people off. Absolutely brilliant woman and she's such a good person. She's such a beautiful human being. Um, that's such a rarity in the music business. You guys know. The music business is full of two faces, sharks, and opportunists. There is so little authenticity regarding people and Dolly Parton is just one of those rare gems who just always, no matter where she was, no matter how far she elevated in her career, you know, she always, you know, remained a beautiful person and I admire that so much because, like I said, it's lacking, especially these days. Um, and her style just always, like I said, she always did things her way. She always experimented. She was never afraid to, you know, sort of go um, into, uh, you know, territory other people didn't, especially at the time. And my mother, like I said, was the same way. My mother modeled a lot of her style from Dolly Parton. I'll put a picture over here so you guys can see it. Um, and it just, it, it, it you know, it, uh, artists like that are the ones who really, really, really inspired me early on because I was, you know, always the same way. I never wanted to sort of get on a bandwagon and sort of follow the pack. I always wanted to sort of make my own and, you know, have people eventually see what I had, um, you know, as something valuable and something new and fresh and end up following me. And I love that because a lot of times people are scared to go that route. You know what I mean? I feel people are scared of being ridiculed and made fun of. So they play it safe and they don't explore the depths of everything that they want to do and, you know, all of their ideas and everything that they, they want to bring to light um, because of that fear. Um, and like I said, early, early on in my life, I made the decision I cannot be one of them. I have to do it my way and I always did. Um, and early on, like I, people made fun of me too. People ridiculed me. I have been called every name in the book. But once people saw what I w accomplished and was capable of and did and brought to fruition, then they were like, you know what? I like that. You know, I'm going to follow him. I'm, I'm going to support him. Um, and that's been since the beginning of time with inventors, artists, everything. First, the saying, first they laugh at you, you know, then they see what you're capable of and then they, you know, they, they like you. So it's sort of a process um, and you do have to go through some tough times with it. But man, I think it's worth it having your own in the end because like I said, people do respect you. And I have said this before, I will say it till the end of time, it is much more important to be respected than be liked. End of story. I don't care what anybody says. That is my opinion till the end of time. Um, what a gorgeous, like I said, just stunning performance. Knock always knocks my socks off revisiting it. Um, in my opinion, this is the my favorite uh, performance live that she's ever done of the song. I just it. it I still have goosebumps. Absolutely amazing. Another humongous round of applause for the legendary, the one and only Dolly Parton and Vince Gill. I will always love you. Thank you so much uh, for this request. This request actually came uh, for, for me to get to Dolly from, uh, from Mr. Wayne, uh, who is a big supporter of my channel and on my Instagram. Um, 
but if any of you guys, uh, if including Wayne, if anybody has any other Dolly requests, I would love to keep featuring her on this channel. She is just such a huge favorite of mine. So bring your requests to my inbox, and I would love to review more from Dolly on this channel moving forward. Thank you so much for joining me today for this reaction video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet done so. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. If you're new here and you want to support the channel, consider leaving me a donation via Cash App and or a Super Chat here on the channel. All the details will be in the drop down box below. You guys know the deal. If you want me to react to something, leave your requests in the comments down below and I will add them to the lineup. Love you all. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep the positivity going. We need all we can get in this world. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.